but not least, there's the financial benefits, right? So uh, what you can earn in your country, let's say Argentina, for doing the same job, there's a uh, advantage and edge in um, services for, for, uh, for we don't have to commute and all the other benefits, obviously, that come with remote working. Um, Hi, everyone. Welcome to Digital Futures Education. We're going to do the ultimate guide for finding remote jobs for Latin American professionals. So let's go ahead and get started. This guide is going to provide some practical support and some great tips to help Latin American people who are looking for remote jobs to be able to do job search, do some job searches, find success with building an online presence and also networking and mastering remote job interviews. So what we're going to cover here is you know, can Latin American professionals best leverage remote work for international career advancement. We're going to discuss what challenges might they face when working in a culturally diverse environment online remotely, benefits of how remote work can really open up international experiences within American professionals at experiencing the global work environment and also provides tremendous earning potential. There's also great flexibility, new cultural competence, and of course, the flexibility with the online working environment. So let's go ahead and get into some of the facts related to online work and remote work. 12.7% of full-time employees work remotely, while 28.2% follow a hybrid model. A projected, a projected increase to 32.6 million remote workers in the U.S. by 2025 is going to happen. Now, the, compu the computer and IT sector leads in remote employment with other industries following right behind it. So IT and technology is a tremendous sector to find this type of work. Younger workers, especially those aged 24 to 35, are also showing a higher tendency towards working remote and online. Remote workers also reportedly earn more than their in-house counterparts. Significant trends also include the use of monitoring software by employers and concerns over remote work security. So these are all factors to consider when starting to think about working remote, whether it's globally or specifically working from LATAM. So I'm going to cut now to Natalie. When it comes to Latin Americans, there's a huge potential and there's also lots of advantages. And speaking of the advantages is that working gives us the opportunity to experience interna international companies work without relocating. So being able to work for an international company or without to move the family or leave the people we love here and personal commitments it's obviously hugely beneficial. Then we have the opportunities to, to learn about cultural diversity. And so you'll be working with people from one country. Probably if that company is open to remote work, there will be people from all over. So collaboration is key there. And through collaboration, you get uh, cultural diversity. Um, yeah, exposed to different ways of working, um, advanced uh, business practices, so, which are obviously something that whatever you learn, it's it's going to go with you. So, and you can then add its career development, its advancement. So, um, any new practices or technologies are going to be beneficial for 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 your resume, for example. And then, obviously, last but not least, there's the financial benefits, right? So. Uh, what you can earn in your country, let's say Argentina, for doing the same job, there's a uh, out um, advantage and edge in um, services for for uh, for we don't have to commute and all the other benefits obviously that come with remote working um, financial benefit and that is what I think moves people the most I would say Dan mm -hmm. totally. I would say I would say that's the, the big the part if I had if I had to put them in the in a, in a like I would say the financial benefits are what excite people the most and then there's obviously the opportunity to work for an international business and then cultural diversity and blah 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 but I, I, but I think that the biggest uh, appeal is the financial benefit which I think it's also two way because mm -hmm. there's also you you were going to talk about that too 
Yeah, the total advantage you need to work within you think know, a tremendous also welcoming of Latin American talent for remote positions and recognizing their diverse skills and um, and working for a U.S. company, um, Latin American professionals significant benefits including the flexible hours, you know, increase and in they might be able to get it within their own country, even working with remotely, and also the ability to work from anywhere. And also, I think you know this is that experience of having done it. Um, allows to then you know, job market as their skills evolve um, may end at one position and then acquire additional skills to scale their career later. And once they've done it once, they can kind of skills are either more global or do they have an opportunity to kind of field areas, which I think is a tremendous benefit as well. Um, I think it is half the battle, I really believe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Getting out the comfort zone and, and always, uh, and also thinking like it can be done. Because many many people here would m might think, well, it's it's not easy. It could be easy, and the, the, as you say, the, the the first obstacle is like confidence. Like you do it once, and then you see, oh, okay, you can do it. So you improve your your skills and get yeah, it's possible, definitely possible. And the U.S. are looking at um, the U.S. is looking at Latin America because of well, we talked about that in in, in previous podcasts like the time zone and the financial aspect and the talent that's here. So yeah, totally possible. Yes. What the podcast series is going to be all about is how to develop the skills and some of the understandings around what you can take as next steps to try to find one of these types of positions um, to be in the best position understand you know, competency, which will be necessary to understand the different working roles that you might be able to, you know, get. And also just understanding the skills from a digital perspective, from a technology perspective, some of the soft skills and hard skills that are going to help you kind of in the best position for working remote. Now, there is a tremendous opportunity here. So I hope you continue to check out our videos as we kind of series, as we discuss a wide range of different topics that are gonna to help support you in looking for that remote position. Um, then it we have for questions. So we can kind of go there and then um, just gonna do a little thing here about, you know, have it. Um, so, so a few exciting questions you might wanna ask yourself as we, you know, kind of through um, for you for working remotely is how ready do you feel as you start to begin looking for remote positions? Is this something that you've thought about in the past, something you're thinking about doing in the near future? What do you feel or perceive as your readiness for this type of job search? Secondly, what excites you about looking for a remote position? You know, what biggest potential gain for you? Why is this worth putting your energy into? And what are you looking forward to? Thirdly, what is stopping you from currently looking for a remote position? Is it a perceived lack of skills that you might have? Is it something that you have been looking for for a while, but you just haven't decided to try? Essentially, what might be blocking you from starting to look at this? I think these are three very important questions for you to consider as you consider videos and, and learn about how to best prepare yourself for applying for those remote positions and getting those new opportunities.